Good morning, folks. Today we've got a relatively calm situation on our star, but with a not-so-calm outlook on the horizon. Excellent article and hurricane flood-making forecast as well. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're looking at the last 24 hours on our star and finding it to be very calm. There have been no solar flares and we're still awaiting significant solar wind impact at Earth. Those sunspots remaining on the disk are not displaying much danger as the umbral cores are split without magnetic interaction in close quarters. Let's use Stereo A to see what's coming up from just behind the eastern limb. From its angle, it can perfectly see what is about to rotate into our view. Looks like an angry active region nestled into a coronal hole boundary. Probably going to see that one's magnetic fields by tomorrow morning. Speaking of coronal holes, one departing on the south gave that solar wind I mentioned that we're waiting for. The seismic watch jumped up and we did indeed take a fairly good rumble in Papua New Guinea. Unfortunately at 6.4 that's just not very much pressure released and with the northern coronal hole so close that you can't even pick a day between their influence, we have no choice but to look for more such releases at the lithosphere. It'd be nice if it was just one of those Alaskan volcanoes that don't really affect anyone. We can hope. Anyway, we're moving on to an open access article out of the AGU detailing space weather risks to the satellite industry and other sectors, specifically from the space weather effect on the Van Allen belts. If you are new to the topic, I'd say this is an excellent way to dance into the subject, but it is only one small piece. Up next, Let's come to the United States where Hurricane Harvey is still battering the Texas coastline. There have already been fatalities reported and the rain totals are astounding, set to go higher as well with the system slated to sit right there dumping moisture it picks up from the Gulf of Mexico and it's going to be there until at least Wednesday or Thursday, which is way too long. Another good way to get familiar is with our latest book, available everywhere but with the electronic PDF at otf.cells.com being the best cheap option. That's also where you register for Observing the Frontier 2018. It's looking like it's going to be another good crowd and we'll have more space weather health risk focus than we did in the past. Website members, I have never put a disclaimer before a podcast episode before but yesterday's Fly on the Wall episode has two of them. Both are needed before you listen to 80 crazy minutes. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.